English, Underwater Archaeology Adventures, Unveiling Hidden Treasures. My journey into the realm of underwater archaeology commenced in 1999, culminating in a significant milestone in 2000. It all began with a wreck mapping project part of a dive master course. We were not the first ones in the dive site. Mid-90s a couple of cousins dove multiple times in the wreck. Our endeavor was the Punta del Monte wreck which at the time had no name. Possible first diver to see it underwater was Oscar Peraza aka Magallan. Captain Mario Campos also has attribution on the finding. As time rolled on, the Torshof exploration was carried forward by different divers including Jose Roberto Suarez, Marlon Escamilla, Roberto Gallardo, Min Hernandez, and Alex Molina. With different timing they embarked on an awe-inspiring lifelong project dedicated to unravel the secrets of this submerged vessel. Molina in independent efforts proposed in 2015 to declare this wreck part of a underwater national park project. Now to dry land. Contribution as courtesy advisor extended supporting UTEC's pioneering underwater archaeology thesis. The endeavor to design a meticulous bathymetry survey method tailored to unique terrain in Lake Weha. The objective was to uncover a possible submerged ancient Maya pyramid. My research has relied on remarkable capabilities from Raymarine Dragonfly 4 with cutting-edge technology known as compressed high-intensity radiated pulse imaging. This compact yet powerful gadget is a must-tool for my discoveries. Precise latitude longitude and depth of the submerged structure was documented. I remember vividly Professor Escamilla's expression when we saw something unusual on the plotter's display and reading his mind thinking, holy cannoli, this guy found it. Significant achievement not just for Professor Escamillo or myself but for underwater archaeology as well. Let's be honest Professor Escamilla has made numerous groundbreaking discoveries while my own path has led me to explore various avenues of underwater investigation. Not every day you bump into a potential Maya pyramid dating AD 600 to AD 900 at a lake's bottom. The journey as avocational underwater archaeologist takes me to diverse thrilling paths unveiling hidden treasures beneath waterways.